Good evening, good evening, good evening. Um, just as uh, as we begin our live in the living room, um, we'll just start off really, really simple and then we'll work up some, uh, some combinations, etc, etc. So first of all, here's what we're going to do. Now remember, if you are watching this, please just actually watch the video and don't just scroll through. Um, just so I know exactly or roughly how many people are actually watching, um, that would be that would be great. I will, um, I will do the waves in the in the break. Um, so yeah, just if you are, make sure you click on the actual video itself and not just not just be scrolling through. So first of all, hey Kadech, just in a hey Kadech position, one shoulder with the pie, etc., and just bring your left arm across, Gide Anuke. And then from this position, just dropping and across again. I'll come in a little bit closer, you can see, and dropping and across again. Each, ni, san, chi, go, ruk, sich, ach, ku, ju. Okay, from this position now, from this position now, um, make sure that when you are so I keep I keep going in to see who's watching. Um, when you are doing your Gila Nuke block, make sure your hips are turning. Um, knees slightly bent in the stance so you can actually turn the hips. Don't use the shoulder, so don't pull across with the shoulder, but just let everything happen. It's almost like you're just swinging, swinging your hips around. That's basically you get a nuke there. So again, each knee, san, shi, go, rik, sich. Ach, ku, ju. And when you are doing this, make sure that you are dropping the fist, and as it comes around, you're blocking with the the um, the forearm here. Okay, it will be a kick towards the stomach area, or even a punch towards the stomach area. Okay, this time we're gonna have the back fist in there. So you're gonna do get a new care from here, scroll around, roll around, forward back fist. So it's going to come around, roll the arm through the body, and then forwards. Okay, so your body's going to be off on a 45 degree angle. It's a bit like the Tadashi version of uh, of our forward back fist, but we put in, we just put in a block in there as well. So blocking each roll back fist, knee block roll. Back fist, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, ach, ku, ju, ish, ni, sun, she, go. Now what we're doing with this, I'll just, uh, just explain this as we're going through the final five, is we're using Gamaku, which is a bit of hip tremor there. So we're coming around, we're doing our executing our block. But then as we get to here, we're gonna throw the hip in the direction of the, of the strike itself. Okay, so it just comes out and then back. So your hip's kinda gonna go one, two, one, two, all right? Um, hips are vital when you're doing your training. Um, vital for your key on, vital for your basics, vital for hips are vital. Okay, so itch, <coughs> knee, <coughs> sun, <coughs> she, <coughs> go, <coughs> rook, <coughs> sitch, <coughs> ach, <coughs> ku, <coughs> ju. <coughs> okay, and relax. This block is an understated block. Because even though, yes, it's good for use in, um, in Kumite. So if you can imagine you're in Kumite, somebody comes in with a kick, you can block the kick away, which again, we'll be focusing a little bit later on in a second. Um, but it's also good for um, a defense, um, as in like a grab. So I want to imagine now is that somebody's grabbing, somebody's grabbing your shoulder, they're grabbing your lapel. So they've kind of got their... Well, look, it doesn't matter. They've got their, they're grabbing your lapel with their left arm. Okay, all you're going to do is you're going to come up to grab that. Remember, don't grab this way. Just cup. 
just cup, not here, cup. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna step back and turn. So the arm, the arm that you've got onto your shoulder, that's the leg you're gonna step away. So right now, as you can see, I've got my left arm on my right shoulder. Step with that leg and turn. Now we're not gonna do the full block, but what's gonna happen is as you turn, I'll do it this way so you can see, as you turn, it's there, not, not all the way across, but it's that kind of, it's that kind of action. So someone's grabbing, <coughs> turn. Now your goal here is, is to, a bit like first kata, step with your feet in line, and then <coughs> turn. Okay, so you're throwing the hip into it. Or, if you want to, you can just step back <coughs> and turn. What will happen with that, because you're cupping the hand, is they will have no choice but to, so they're kind of they're kind of here now, cupping the hand, and they've got no choice but to go with you. So they end up over here somewhere. Okay. So this is my grabbing arm. You cupped it, grabbed you, you cupped it. You take it using the shoulder part, the natural turn of the block to release or to to take the arm into a arm um, into a grab. Okay. So blocking again. Itch. <coughs> Same side again, so we're just going to go to the left, we're just going to go left arm, right shoulder, stepping the left leg back. Knee. <coughs> San. <coughs> you might find a little bit of a push forward, so when you're doing this, we did this uh, where it come, come across, but you might find yourself a little push forward slightly. So not across the body, but just push slightly forwards. She. <coughs> go. <coughs> You don't have to necessarily grab the shoulder now, but you can practice that if you want. Rook. <coughs> Notice that when I did that without grabbing, there was still this arm. Would potentially be the grab, but I'm bringing it back to the back to the hip because what we're doing here is as somebody's grabbing the shoulder, we're grabbing the hand and we're pulling it around. So we're kind of going, we're grabbing the hand and we're twisting it this way. Okay, harder to do it on your own, but you know you can use your uh, use your imagination. Goal. <coughs> Rook <coughs> Sitch <coughs> Hatch <coughs> Ku <coughs> Ju <coughs> Okay, same thing opposite side. So you're now gonna be grabbing with your right arm to your left shoulder, stepping your right leg back and turning 90 degrees, and then throwing this uh Gidanuke forward slightly. Itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ko, jo. You notice that my stance is not in line. It doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. The main point of this is getting that grab and turning. Now all we're going to do is we're going to imagine a kick coming towards us. So somebody's coming in with a, a front kick towards the towards the stomach part, which we're going to step off again. But we're going to add something in there. So using the left using the left side, step that left leg back as you have been doing, and execute. You get a new care, and then come back. Then, from the next point, point of view, you're going to use that step. If you can imagine now the kick, the person's leg has now come this direction. So the leg is now over here somewhere. What we're going to simply do is just do a low level round kick. Now when I say low level round kick, it literally just going to be just swing the leg around. Don't. Don't prepare the kick, not to here. If anything, it's gonna come out <coughs> and around. So just around. <coughs> so you're actually taking that front leg away. So when you do this, you've executed the block. Kick is now over here somewhere. We're gonna aim for around the calf area <coughs> and take the leg out. Now as we take the leg out, we can use our right arm to push the opponent to the back. So 
So imagine the kick's coming in, execute the block. As the kick is landing, we need to be taking it. So we're not going to let the kick land, but even if it does, we can still take it because we're going to reach up and through. Chest, leg, this way. So back and block it. Kick knee. Don't kick your furniture. <laughs> block it. Kick knee. Block it. Knee. <clears throat> okay, let's do the whole thing nice and slow, slow to a medium pace. Where have we got? All three of you are watching, maybe. There might be more. So look, make sure you're watching the video. You're not just scrolling through it to actually click on the video, please. Okay, each <clears throat> could be like a kind of an off front kick as well, if you like. Knee. Sun. She. <clears throat> Go. Now thinking about that, it can also be a step. So you can also step through. So again, if you can imagine the legs coming in, you block the kick. Stepping out. <clears throat> again, you're putting, the, you're putting your knee behind their thigh. Okay, so your knee will be in here somewhere. If it, was, if it was this way, so you've done the kick, done the kick, kick's gone over there some direction, you're going to bring your knee into here. Imagine your knee coming in, um, arm across the chest and pushing down. Each. So to, you know, if you wanted to turn that into a, a basic, it would be Gira Nuke, Gira Mbarai. And you would execute that with get a new cage stepped off, get amber right. Because then you've got two techniques. You've got you get a new cage here, so their leg is now across, their back is now facing you, and then you get amber right is a kidney punch <clears throat> and then a takedown. So you kind of got a couple of different techniques in there that you can work with. It doesn't have to be a kidney punch, it could be a head punch. So you could even go one, one, two. Okay, get on where I can be a little bit higher as well, so don't panic about putting effort into this guy down now. So it could be <clears throat> one, two. Notice that when we, when we go for the second block, it happens <clears throat> together. <clears throat> here, <clears throat> here. Which just made me think of something. Um, in a character called Basai, I execute this technique. <clears throat> Similar kind of thing. Forwards. Okay, so I'll do this to the front now so you can see. So we're sweeping across, <coughs> and then from this position, <coughs> forwards. In fact, yeah, forget the kick, just do that. I actually like that a bit better. So back, <coughs> from here, <coughs> into your get amber right. So you're blocking twice with the same arm, twice with the same arm. Get a new care, <coughs> and then from there, Left arm off the hip, right arm to the shoulder, right leg forwards, <coughs> into the direction you're going. Don't panic about Zen Kutta Dutch. Just have that leg stepping forwards. And I want you to just imagine you're throwing the knee in. So when you step forwards into this, you're throwing, <coughs> you're throwing this knee first. You want to get the knee towards the thigh area. <coughs> if you've ever been given a dead leg, that's what we're doing. We're taking, but we're taking the knee. It hurts a heck of a lot more. Trust me. I remember times when we were sparring, doing kumite, and I would always get into some kind of clinch, and I would always try just to knee, knee my opponent's thighs, front or side. Why? Take the legs away, nothing else, okay? Can't do anything when the legs are gone. It's like taking the foundation away from a house. You've got a weak foundation, you've got a weak house. It's going to fall down eventually. So this is where, this is why we like to take the legs away. So again, one more time. Each, <coughs> knee. <coughs> okay, now we're going to go the opposite side. So we're going to go our right leg back. Or mirror me, whatever, whichever one you're doing. And then you get a new K across. So each, this time you're going to go your left leg forwards, left arm, gear down by right. 
and then just revert back to square one. Ish, knee, and then back. Ish, knee, and then back. Let's try two techniques to one count now, yeah? I want you all to be saying, hey! So that just means yes in Japanese. It means I understand. Spelled H-A-I, and it's pronounced hey! Not hi. Everything you say in Japanese is short and sharp. Um, that's not because they're short and sharp themselves. <laughs> um, but it's just, you know, when, when, when you command something in, in Japan, it's, it's short, sharp, to the point, respectful. Hey! It's like, it's me, ta. Okay, um, yeah, you get the idea, right? Please say, hey, okay, ish, ni. Okay, now let's put the whole thing together. Ish, ni. We might also notice that when you're doing this, that you can use in that one, two effect as well. So you go one, two. One, two. Let that Gedinuke continue through to the shoulder. <coughs> For more fluidity in your techniques. Ich. <coughs> Knee. <coughs> Son. <coughs> Don't panic about the angle. She. <coughs> Go. Rick <coughs> Sitch <coughs> Ach <coughs> Ko <coughs> Jo <coughs> Okay, relax. Um again if you've got any questions, if you are watching, please feel free to type them. Um, I will be answering them during my two minute break. Now's a good opportunity to get a sip of water. Okay. Let's do some, uh, some, some kicks. In fact, no, I'll tell you what we need to do, what we've not done for a while, some stances. Not a stance for a good long time. So, stepping your right leg back into Zenko to that Kamai. Kamai just means, um, Kamai means prepare for war. So, whenever the word Kamai is called, you jump to it. It's not Kamai, and then, yeah, okay, whatever. As soon as the word Kamai is called, Kamai! you back into your stance. Kamai. Don't get that mixed up with kime. Kime is a snap at the end of the punch. It's the focal point at the end of a technique. The kime, the snap, the crack, the bah. The little bit of Bruce Lee talked about. Your punch should remain relaxed until, you know, a point of impact and you should finish two to three inches behind the target. That's at that point you would execute the kime into the technique. Okay, but kamai is prepare for war. So you then cut to that. Two shoulder width long. Front to back. One shoulder width wide. Side to side. If you can, that's probably an easy way to remember it. One shoulder width wide, side to side. Okay, back foot. Slight angle, 45 degrees is a maximum. Okay, don't go square with the back foot, but 45 degrees is a maximum. Back leg's nice and straight, pushing forward on the front knee. Front foot should be nice and square to the on the outside edge. So it'll look like your front foot's turned inwards, but it's not. It's just, you know, everybody's foot's shaped a little bit differently. You know, they all kind of look like an off triangle. So, you know, the outside edge of your foot needs to be nice and straight. You're pushing that front knee forwards, just over the ankle of that front leg. And then you can just sit nicely in your stance. Now, a lot of um, a lot of kata, kata specific, is hips nice and square. Whereas I don't mind if you actually sit in the stance and just relax the hips, okay? Because it's the stance. I mean, this here will generate strength in the stance, 
this can also be a strong stance as well, okay? Um, nobody would ever fight in this in this stance. You'd probably get yourself knocked out. Okay, from this position now, stepping in, stepping back, maintain the same height. Look at where the guide is on the top, where the curtains finish. We're gonna step in, we're gonna step back. We're not gonna bob that above that above that point. So now checking the dimensions, two shoulder widths long, front to back, one shoulder width wide, side to side, back foot 45, front foot pointing straight, front knee push forwards, and if you were to look down from where you are without bending your back, you should be able to just see your big toe. If you can see any more toes, push forwards until your big toe is the only one that's visible. It should hurt around the top of the leg. Basic guard for your stance, whichever leg's forwards, that's the high hand. Whichever leg's back, that's the low hand. And I always like to imagine a line going through my face, not through my body, through my face. So if my body's off on this 45, the line is still there. So the hands are on this same line. You can see that right with painting the fence. If I go with the body, I'm over here somewhere. Here, the body's square, I'm on that line, but it's still the face. Its uh, hips are off, but that line is still, line still not moved. So you go with that same line. And I don't personally care if your hands are open or if they're closed. Doesn't matter. Okay, next stance, Kibidach, horse riding stance. So you're gonna step your feet in, Make sure when you step them in, I'll just move back a little bit. Make sure when you step them in, they are pointing straight forwards and then step them out to the side. Two shoulder widths, two shoulder widths wide. Imagine you're riding a horse. You need to bend your knees slightly, hips forwards, feet pointing straight forwards. And again, the guard doesn't matter as long as you've got that invisible line through your face. So it doesn't matter either way. This should start to hurt around the ankles area because you need to be pushing the outside edges of your feet into the ground. And it's a really, really strong sideways stance. When done properly, it can be a strong stance from the front as well, but you're thinking to yourself, well, there's no, there's no depth to the stance. That's right, but it can still be done as a strong stance. Uh, many times I've been in sumo stance or just what may be seen as a weak stance from the front and being punched or kicked and not, not moved. So when it's done properly, it can be strong to the front. So from there, speaking of that stance, Shkodach, sumo stance. So we turn, feet out 45 degrees. Now 45 degrees from the inside edge, not the outside edge, 45 from the inside edge. And then just sink down. Now ideally, looking in a mirror, if you have the opportunity of a mirror, your knees need to be directly above your ankles. So there should be a straight line. Shouldn't be over your ankles or behind your ankles. They should be directly over your ankles, okay? And you can just fix it up a little bit. Now, a lot of people in this stance will go with the top of the legs parallel to the floor. Please don't do that, there's no need. Um, don't put your hands on your legs either. Just a slight 45 degree angle here. This angle here should be the same angle as these, as your shoulders. And it should all kind of just fit in line. So you've got your head, your torso, you've got your shoulders, your thighs your shins, and again, the guard is the guard, okay, and relax. Give your legs a shake. The goal there is to stay in that for a few minutes. Um, don't go too ballistic with it, because it can hurt. Um, best place to practice that stance is in a swimming pool. So, if you go into the pool, do it in the shallow end. <laughs> do it in the deep end, you'll be, uh, you'll be drowning. So go in the shallow end and that's the best place to practice. Right, I'm gonna take two minutes. Um, I will do all the waves and answer any questions that you may have. So if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm sweating. Most people bring drinks to class. Us bald people have to bring towels. Okay. I've got no questions so far. Oh yeah, yeah. No questions so far, that's good. Well, it's not good because I like questions. And what's the most stupid question? <clears throat> the one that you fail to ask. Um, this would be the part of the class where I would probably say to you, go and practice that combination that we've just done with a partner. If you are 
if you have the opportunity with a partner. Now, if you are doing this with a partner and you are doing takedowns, that, that's what this literally is, a takedown, um, don't throw them to the floor. Disclaimer alert. Um, don't throw them to the floor. Just go to the point of un unbalancing your partner, okay? Um, because you don't want any injuries for yourself or for whoever you're practicing with. Okay, Whew. we might not get a full hour in here, guys. I can't, um, it's really muggy, I can't breathe. Okay, so next thing. Next thing, we're just gonna do some, um, a little bit of Kumite, and we'll finish, we'll finish with Kumite. We'll go into some Kata now. So just a quick comment, anybody, any preference on Kata? Any preference on Kata? I'll give you, I'll give you a couple of seconds. Um, you can have first Kata, second Kata, Cypher, you don't have to, you don't have to actually know the, the term of it or the spelling, you know, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, I'll work it out from there. Um, so yeah, if there's any preference, otherwise I'm just going to go straight into, uh, straight into Kata Basai Dai. Because I know there's a lag on this. I know there's a bit of a lag, so I've got to give you guys a couple of seconds to catch up. So if you have any preference on Kata, please uh, please let me know. Or I'm just going to go into Basai Dai. Okay, Basai Dai is. Good practice for any Kata. Let's go. Right? Yoi. Kata Basai Dai, storming the fortress. Ah, oh, the easiest. Who said that? <laughs> um, when done properly, none of them are easy. <laughs> so the easiest is uh, the easiest one to do is probably the first and the second. That's what you generally start off with. Um, but yeah, you don't want things easy. If life was easy, then uh, you know we'd never get anywhere, would we? So we'll start off with Kata Basai Dai, which is this one. Fairly simple. So we're going to bring our right, well it's not, it's not, it means storm in the fortress, okay? And I think I've explained this to you before. We'll just run through it um, and then we'll go into maybe, uh, maybe something else. Okay, each lifting up your right leg, lifting up your right arm, cupping your left hand around your, le around your right wrist. You're going to step straight forwards, course of that, which is left, uh, left ankle behind the right heel. And then drop the elbow in, reinforce. Now we're going to be 45 degrees with this. So we start it off, the body's come off, we're just going to go forwards. Um, we did some of this before where we were doing, um, hang on, would you consider doing a video of each car from multiple angles for teaching purposes till we can get back into the dojo? Yes, Steve, I certainly can and I certainly have. If you were to go into, um, to Dashiru Karate though, and go into Mechanics, Let's go, so go to Playlist, and go to Mechanics, um, you will find that every single kata, up to kata so shin, is broken down. It's taut. It's angled, it's taut. Um, I've also done most of the kata from a front view, um, a back view, and also a real time view. So most of the counters you will have three versions of. All right, but then you will also have in every counter, you certainly got a front view and you certainly got a real time view, but you also will have a, a mechanics view as well, which is basically me demonstrating and me teaching the actual counter to you. And that's for every single counter, from first counter all the way to counter soshin. Okay, um, so you basically have enough material on YouTube if you were to practice on a daily basis and really go into detail with this, um, to be able to get to at least fourth dan. Okay, so yeah, um, been there, done that. I think you may have been uh, privy to some of them actually, Steve. Um, but yeah, it's all there on YouTube, dude. All right, so we're coming up with the right leg, right arm, right leg forwards, left leg behind, right arm reinforced block. Don't panic too much about where this is. If you're gonna, if you're gonna get pedantic. Fingertips level with the edge of the fist. Um, not so much here, more here because you're just reinforcing the block. Okay, your body's already on the angle, step your left leg back. As you do that, as you step your left leg behind you on this angle towards the right, 
towards your the, your, the back of your right. Um, prepare the left arm underneath the right elbow. And then turn 180 degrees with the Nuke UK block. And then you're going to, from this position, prepare the right arm under the left elbow this time. And then do your Uchi, Uchi UK block again while engaging the hips. You're then going to step your... Bum, 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 bum. You're then going to step your back foot across two shoulder widths. Because when you turn now, whee, when you turn now, you want to be a shoulder width wide. As you step that back foot across, prepare the left arm up in the air and turn all the way around. Full sotu uke. And from here, the right arm comes underneath the left elbow and then turn the hips off. Uchi uke. From there, stepping back into high sukadach, turning. From this is the front, you're just going to turn 90 degrees. So you're going from your Zen Kutsudach, your long forward stance, to your high Sukadach, feet together stance. At the same time, left arm off the hip, right arm to the shoulder, come down the arm with the right arm, blocking, but then coming up as well. So it kind of has this action. Elbow finishes the same as the shoulder, and this all happens when you step back, so it becomes <clears throat> Okay, the goal is to, have the, is to have that finish together. Right leg forwards. Soto uke. You're already in position for this. Left arm under the right elbow. Uchi uke. Already in position for this now. Okay. 70% of your body weight is on your front leg, so we're going to use that. Stepping up. Coming into high correction, facing the front of the room. So you should be facing the camera now. As you do that, your left fist is just going to simply sit on top of your right fist. Left arm is going to open and pull out, oh, sorry, push out. Here, with the bend in the arm, it's stronger than here. So slight kink in the arm. Straighten it and this becomes weak because you're relying on shoulder power. Doing this, you're relying on lap power. Okay, so this is stronger than this. So come out here, palm, shoulder height, you're going to punch, now we're going to step out to our left, and as we do so we're going to keep our feet square, but we're going to fold this arm in, okay, this stays on the hip by the way, but I'm just pointing to where I want it to look, and then we're going to turn to our left, but then dropping this elbow, don't raise the fist, but just drop the elbow in and look where it finishes, shoulder height. Okay, so we've executed the punch. <clears throat> Step, twist. <clears throat> and from this position, you're gonna step up with your left leg and you're gonna punch with your left arm. <clears throat> now we're gonna step out with the right leg this time. Right leg steps out, but you're gonna remember that you need to step your right leg out and bend this arm in here. And then again, you're just dropping the elbow, not raising the, not raising the fist. As you twist, <clears throat> now we're going to do three shooto uke forwards. So what I mean by that is, again, don't panic, but we have done this before. We have done this before. And due to space, we might have to, um, we might have to, probably do have to, um, just go forwards and backwards with this. So from this position, Right leg is going to shoot forwards. Straight into core cut to that. As we do that, right arm up, left arm out. Shoot uke. So we'll do this in, uh, in time for you. So forwards itch. <coughs> now from here, we're going to step backwards and then go forwards because we've got room. So we're going to step backwards, prepare, <coughs> and block. And then we'll, I'll do this last one slower, although that was quite slow. One, two. So we've done our three going forwards now. I think I did, anyway. yeah. We've done our three going forwards. We now need to do one going backwards. So this is where we go forwards <coughs> to back. Because we want the body to have that feeling of moving forwards. That's why we go one, <coughs> two. Then we're going backwards, one, two. There's that retraction and uh, advance there. 
retraction and expansion. Okay, stepping your front foot across slightly. Right arm's gonna come just under the left wrist. Cup in the first, so just covering the first. Turn, pull in. This block here, is this block but with the palm exposed. Left arm's on top. We're gonna execute what's known as concetsugeri. Concetsugeri, I didn't know this until my friend Steve Atkin told me what it was. Um, so yes, from here, come up with the right leg, keeping your balance, keeping this arm still. Notice this, this hand's not gone anywhere. I've just brought the body around. As you do the kick, you're gonna pull these into the hip. <coughs> now as you prepare to the back, as you bring the kick back in, you prepare to the back of the room. Right leg comes in, right arm shoots across the body, left arm comes to the preparation point. You drop back with your right leg, blocking with the left arm, shoot okay. Easy peasy. Now we're going to go forwards, so we need to go backwards to go forwards. So go backwards, <coughs> forwards. So we're now facing away from the camera. Try and do this without watching the camera, okay? And just check yourself throughout. Try and do this without watching the camera, that'd be great. Okay, you're going to step your right leg back to your, your left leg, feet together. Both hands on your hips, palm facing upwards. You're then going to bring your hands, little finger first, towards your solar plex. You're going to roll the hands up, so you have 45 degrees on each arm. Index finger knuckle is touching. So it should be like a bit of a uh, Prince Charming kind of thing. You know, the Adam and the Ants. Is it Adam and the Ants? I can't remember. Prince Charming. Anyway, okay, stepping your right leg forwards into long forward stance. As you do that, bring the arms all the way out and around your own body and imagine you are striking with your little finger part of the hand towards somebody's kidneys, towards the rib area. Pushing with your big toe of your back foot, a bit like, a, a bit like fencing. Jump forwards, sorry, kind of like a leap forwards, but punch with the right arm and bring the left arm back to the hip. Okay, stepping your back foot across, step it across towards the right hand side of your body. As you do that, you're going to twist. <coughs> now, from this position, you should be now looking at the camera. If you're looking at the camera, give me a thumbs up. If you're not looking at the camera, pretend you are and give me a thumbs up anyway. Your left arm is going to be towards your right ear, and your right arm is going to be towards the your groin area, and you're in Zen cut to that. From this position, <sighs> Tell you what, talking's hard work. <sighs> From this position, drag back, I suck a dutch, under the armpit, left arm down, right arm high. Should be able to see the fist. If you can see my fist, hello. It's in my fist. And that will also give you, by the way, elbow same height as the shoulder. If you can't see your fist, chances are you've gone too high. Oh, sorry, too low. Pivot on your left foot. Keep this hand high. Mikazuki Geri. Right arm cuts all the way across the face. Forks get on Barai. Strike Tetsui. Don't care which. The main part of that for any karateka practitioners isn't how the hand finishes. You may have heard it millions of times before if you're listening from GKR. Which way does the hand go, Sensei? Which way does the hand go, Shian? Which way does the hand go, Kancho? All right, doesn't matter. Irrelevant information. The main part of that is this hand being high. One, and coming around this direction. That's the main part. I don't care if your knuckles are facing forwards or if they're facing towards, you know, your little fingers face towards your target. I don't care. So do it however you feel comfortable, providing that you have this action with that right arm, okay? So perform that again, coming around. <coughs> now from this position, so we're now sideways onto the camera. Looking to your left, as you bring your right arm on top of your left arm. Unsure of where to go, you've got little nobbles, little nobbles in your, uh, in your, uh, in your elbow and a little bit in, inside your wrist. They just fit together, so we're here now. 
wrist to elbow, elbow to wrist. And we're looking to the left. Now we'll bring the left arm out. When it gets straight, we start to move the right arm as well while continuing the left arm. And then here. So we've now got right arm back on the hip, left arm shooting out to the left, not behind, not in front, but it's level now with our body. We're gonna Mikazuki Gary the, 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 uh, the, the left hand. So crescent kick, prepare. Crescent kick, keeping the left hand high, dropping into, into horse riding stance. Elbow your right elbow with the right arm. And left arm just cups. So you're hitting the left, uh, the left palm. Palm on the elbow strike is facing downwards. Don't elbow strike with the palm facing, it's weak. It's not elbow, it's more shoulder. You want it to come this direction. There's more power here than there is here. You can see it anyway. Yeah, so we can keep that. You're gonna drop your right arm. <coughs> Bring your left arm up to the, just where the tricep finishes, just where the tricep and bicep meet under the shoulder, just there. Then you're going to drop your left arm, <coughs> bring the right arm up, then you're going to go right arm. <coughs> so we've done three of those. And all it basically is, is right drop, so notice the one coming down is on the inside. And there's three of those. So we have bum, bum, bum. <sighs> is anyone else hot or is it just me? <laughs> <sighs> So we've done three of those. One. We're now going to bring our right leg back. Right leg comes back, facing away from the camera. Left hand closed, right hand on top, cup and saucer style. You're going to step your right leg forwards. So I'm just shuffling across so you can see. Step your right leg forwards into your long forward stance. And then strike with your palm facing downwards on the left arm and your palm facing upwards on the right arm. Now I'll do this so you can see this and I'll mirror this for you. So you're now here facing that way. So you're stepping out here. Notice there's a slight, a slight twist in the body, slight angle off the body, and we're striking this way, palm downwards. There's lack of power in this. Palm facing downwards, striking in, through, this way. And we're aiming temple, but we're also aiming for this, this is, uh, I've done some bunk on this, you might have to have a look and see what this is. Um, and then this can also be a short punch or a wrist break, okay? So we've gone to this. <clears throat> We're now gonna step our right leg back, feet together, swap hips. We're gonna do a left arm, crescent, uh, left leg, sorry, crescent kick. Landing again, same thing in with the opposite side. Right arm's gonna swing around, left arm's gonna just come out, stomach level. And then we're gonna come back. Now we're going to repeat that second move and the first move all over again. So when I say second move, I mean put a crescent kick in there. When I say first move, I mean just repeat it on as, as you just did. So it's the first move again with a crescent kick. So you crescent kick, land, there's your, your hook. Now you stay down on this one, so there's three of those, but you stay down on this third one. You're going to bring your left leg out and around, level with the right leg. So you actually go from... From right leg forwards, bring in your left leg and then shoot it straight out, a bit like first kata. And then as you turn, your heels will be in line, but you're going to turn all the way around. Your right arm at that point is going to drop, and from where you are, right arm drops, executes get a new care, executes uchi UK. Remember that from the beginning? <laughs> Same thing, similar kind of thing. All the difference is we're not going all the way out, we're just coming around. Boom, boom. Not that, okay? One, two. <clears throat> now I'm going to turn 90 degrees, we're going to go the other way. Drop, hook. We need to go to the right corner now. So wherever you're facing right now, think about the right corner. Not the right side, the right corner. Step in, left leg in, right leg remains still. Left arm shoots out as a guide, right arm comes to the preparation point. Step your right leg forwards, shoot to uke. Next point from here, <laughs> next point from here is you're gonna drag, keep your hands still, drag your right leg in and turn. So we're now gonna, we're now facing the opposite to the corner we've just been, but the body's gonna go 
<laughs> this is confusing. I'm stood in front of the camera, we've just been to the right hand corner. The head's going to face the left hand corner while the, while the legs are going to shoot out to the, the right hand behind me. So I end up here somewhere. All right, but I'm looking this direction. Not one, not one direction, this direction. So we step in, prepare. Right leg steps in, right arm prepares. Left arm prepares for the block as well. Right arm's the guide. Step the left leg out. <coughs> Shoot to okay with the left arm. In this position, left leg back. A bit like a Chinese salute. You do hands, you do feet, you bow, and you yoy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there for this week. Oh, it's a good sort of 45 minutes, is that? Um, what I would like you to do, if you can, if you please can, is. Share the YouTube channel. So if you can, just share both YouTube channels. I'd like to get more influential on both channels, not only in karate, but also in, um, in life as well. So if you can share them both on your page, that would be amazing. The other thing I'm looking at doing is, uh, is Zoom, like, like a Zoom class. Okay, so I'm looking at potentially... Um, maybe running the classes every fortnight as in in a dojo but then uh but then doing zooms in between and there will be a charge for the zoom classes okay it won't be much but it will be like a hopefully like a zoom class all right so i'll keep you posted on that but for now just stick to the lives um when i can get things set up we'll start doing zooms other than that i'm gonna love you and leave you i'm gonna go for a shower then i'm gonna go for a beer so I will see you on our next one. Please leave a like, please leave a comment. It will be uploaded to YouTube and also to Tadashiru Karate Do um, on Facebook. So yes, I will love you and leave you. Stay safe and I'll catch you all there.